Hello everyone. Today I'm going to talk about the renin angiotensin aldosterone system. This is important to know about because of the impact that it has on blood pressure control. So renin. Renin is an enzyme that's secreted by the kidneys. It's secreted in response to a reduced renal pressure or renal flow, which is an indication of having a lower blood pressure. So you've got a low blood pressure and renin is then secreted. Renin acts on angiotensinogen, which is made by the liver. It acts on angi angiotensinogen to make angiotensin 1. Angiotensin 1 is an inactive decapeptide. So then angiotensin converting enzyme, also known as ACE, which can be found at the lungs and vascular endothelium, which is the inner lining of cells of blood vessels. Uh, so as I was saying, the angiotensin converting enzyme then converts the angiotensin 1 to angiotensin 2, which is active. So it's an active peptide and has the following actions. First of all, it causes vasoconstriction, which increases blood pressure, and it stimulates aldosterone production, causing salt and water retention of the kidneys and therefore increasing blood pressure. So that's basically how increasing renin production causes an increase in blood pressure. This is, of course, a cycle, and so with have an increase in blood pressure, there's an increase in renal pressure, and so a reduction in running production, and the cycle continues. So just to very quickly summarize the sequence of events in this pathway, you have angiotensinogen, which running acts on to convert it to angiotensin 1, which ACE then acts on to convert it to angiotensin 2. So angiotensinogen, becomes angiotensin 1 by renin, angiotensin 1 becomes angiotensin 2 by ACE. I hope that makes sense. Um, thank you for listening. Thank you.